Here is your latest end time news from Tradcat Night. Ladies and gentlemen, this next story, actually it's stories, is no aberration. This is true, I'm not making this up. As if the modern world hasn't sunk deep enough in immorality and debauchery. I present to you London's first nude, naked, however you want to put it, restaurant. Yes, that is true. Now offering a natural dining experience, the Beyondies uh, customers are free from phones, electrical lights, and even clothing. The Beyondi is set to open officially to the public tomorrow on June the 11th. It is London's first nude restaurant opening, offering, excuse me, an entirely natural eating experience free from the trappings of modern life. Ladies and gentlemen, if London does not have enough to deal with, whether it's Muslim mayors, whether it is uh, weird weather uh, in terms of it being colder than Siberia in certain areas uh, of Britain, flooding throughout England, as if God has not been trying to get a hold of these poor souls uh, attention long enough we now have the beyondy stepping into the scene to offer to the public some nude catering if you will now it has a 42 capacity venue and there's a 44,000 person wait list that goes to show you where the Brits are at and the Brits are in big trouble there was kind of a soft opening uh, where in a, a few were, were invited, and Harriet Starling, who was one of those, says it's pure freedom. Absolutely pure freedom. Lizzie West writes, I feel so relaxed and comfortable. These people have no morals. We're cut off from God's grace. Unbelievable. And then as a side note, if you will, Japan has likewise opened up uh, it's not a full nude restaurant, but it's a semi-nude. But the kick to this in Tokyo, with this naked dining experience, is that they're going to put uh, weight restrictions <laughs> on the individuals. So if you're overweight, don't bother coming to this one. This particular restaurant called the Amrita will also keep the age limit to 18 to 60. You know, where does it end? We reported last month that they were actually starting these naked uh, Disneylands all across the world, if you will, these, these naked resorts with, with rides. And it's just, we have entered past the days of Lot, ladies and gentlemen. It is worse than the days of Lot. I don't know how anyone with half a brain cannot see how the world is about to be chastised. And uh, I don't know what else to say on the matter. I'm really truly at a loss for words, but please subscribe to Tradcat Night for all of the latest news, information, radio shows, which come nearly daily. Please make sure you visit tradcatnight.blogspot.com. We are the most comprehensive and follow traditional Catholic website out there. A lot of information running along that right-hand side, whether it's the news, whether it's the new poll question that's up, whether it's the Tradcat Night archive section, of which you can spend days, perhaps even weeks there, learning on all of the topics we cover, whether it's traditional Catholic apologetics, whether it's on GMOs, Manzanto, Illuminati, global depopulation. We cover it all to help paint that picture of the dire hour that we are in. Please spread word of Tradcat Night. Visit our sister site, orderoftheeagle.wordpress.com. And if you can, please, uh, I do need donations for this work to keep a strong social media team alive to help us become more and more visible and move more into the mainstream with our message. And our message is simply the message of Fatima. A call to repentance, a call to conversion, a call to modesty, a call to faith and hope. Because in the end, the triumph of her immaculate heart will transpire and the world will be granted a shorter period of peace. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.